What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. Hey, girl. The hair is hairing. Same. Shout out to Barb. Ditto, kiddo. Barb, let me just take a moment because Barb be getting us together. She do. And Barb love us. No matter what she got going on, Barb going to come through she and make sure the girls... She going to squeeze the girls in. She going to squeeze the girls in no matter what. But also, while we're pl- praising the professional black women in the beauty industry, let me just say, mm-hmm. I found a lash check that I really, really love. Mm-hmm. I had to go to her a few times, you know, before I gave her a shout out, you know, and all this stuff. But mm-hmm. her name is uh, J Lily. On Instagram, on Instagram, it's J A I underscore L I L L Y. But yeah, she's in Atlanta. So if you're in Atlanta and you need your lashes done, definitely go to her because she does her thing. She's professional. She's always on time. I fuck with her a long way too. Yeah, I'm about to switch to her. Okay. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you, girl. Shout out to Miss. Lashes be on point. They do. Y'all see mine is very sparse today. And my lash is thicker than me. They is. They thicker than me. And I'm thicker than you. So we lying this episode? I just want to see what kind of vibe we on. We lying this episode? Am I not thicker than you? No. In your dreams. That's the baby. I got that. I'm that auntie thick. That's the baby. I'm that thick that's like, damn, did she just bake a turkey? (laughs) <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like you know how some people be so thick it just look like they just got done cooking I got the auntie arm too you do not have no auntie arm bro yes I do look just cause it's shaped don't mean it's an auntie arm no that's not what that's auntie jelly, arm that's jelly cause it sure ain't jam what <laughs> <laughs> let me just let y'all know <laughs> We're on our like second bottle of wine, so y'all already know how this episode about to be. Cause what is the difference between jelly and jam? Why they got two different names? The same it's, reason why I got two different names. Because names. clearly it's different. It's not. No, it's it was not. The same. Lex P is the dawn. Exactly. It's the same thing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Lex P and the Dawn are the same The person. Dawn and Lex P are two different people. No, they not. Would you like to hear why? Why? Because the Dawn got money. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Lex P ain't always. <laughs> Lex P was always Lex P. But Lex P ain't have money. That's true. Now, the Dawn. The Dawn. <laughs> The Don be putting that shit the on. The Don be putting that shit on. The Don got bread. The Don brought me some Air Man slides for my birthday. <laughs> the Don did do that. The Don did Okay, that. okay. I so it is a little, maybe it is a little it's different. It's a little between, different. Between jam and jelly. It is. It, if it wasn't, they wouldn't have two different names. I think jam might be a little thicker. I, so I'm jam and you're jelly. Okay. Jam and jelly. I be jelly. Yeah. I that think. was my granddaddy nickname. That's a, All right. <laughs> that's a story for We're not about time. to get into no topics about your family because your cousin, sister, baby, daddy, friend, mama is your mom, basically. So we not. <laughs> Don't be talking about her. <laughs> no, I love your family, but everything is confusing. It is confusing. Like but your I'm grandpa, about... your grandpa's cousin used to date your mama, boyfriend, ex, sister, wife. So I'd be like, what? Mm. That's definitely it's how your, life. That's how your family be, bro. Your family be tripping. We need Tyler Perry call me. <laughs> Tyler Perry think he had a storyline. <laughs> Tyler call me. He ain't met them yet. Call me. <laughs> he ain't met Tyler. We gonna all. get it juicy for you. Not like that. Well, juicy with the well, tea. Well, speak for yourself because I will. <laughs> Tyler got that check. You tr- you wouldn't get a juicy for Tyler? Bro, first of okay. all, what we not about to do okay, is talk okay. about this again because you already said you would fuck Medea and I'm still on edge about that. <laughs> you say you would fuck Tyler Perry oh, with a Medea suit on. <laughs> Why you doing that? You said it on the show. I mean, I did, but I've grown since then. I'm not even the same person that I was. That was literally yesterday. I'm not the same person I was then. That was literally no, two it weeks wasn't. ago. It wasn't. That was an old episode. Legs. It was in 2021. And I've gro- have you not grown this year? Are you the same person you were a month ago? Because if you are, I can't. That ain't no real ass bitch. That's you supposed to grow every day. Yeah, but every morning oh, I wake up. It's a spider. I don't even know what I meant. Get it, legs. Get it. Because I'm a real ass bitch. <laughs> you know, you just These get out of that fuck. That's why I got the aunt- <laughs> auntie on. <laughs> Only aunties kill bugs with their hands. <laughs> Auntie'd be like, pick that roach up. God damn it. This whole really just fucking. Because I'm an auntie. That's what aunties I do. Swear, I thought Tahir was 
about to run over here and get it, Debo. <laughs> Craig, one of the men. I, so, I'm right here, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? I got it under control. That's why one thing about me and Dre is when y'all book us, y'all don't even have to pay for security. <laughs> it's all built in one. Hosting and security, what you need. Nah, baby. I'll work the door for the first hour. Last two hours, I'll host. Well, she gonna work the door. That's what I'm yeah, saying. I'm gonna come and see. Because you seat. ain't protecting shit. I'm not. As long as you know. I protect you, though. I just protected you. I protect you, though. From what? First of all, bitch, we just talked about that on the episode from last week how I protected you from Jerome. <laughs> you weren't protecting me. You were just getting mad. Nah, I was holding you down. Shout out to Jerome. We love us some Jerome. But, yeah, but anyways, girl, what's, what's been up? What's tea? What's new? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just say this. Why did you do that? <laughs> Cause I'm just already tired of this episode, and we only six minutes in. Lord, let me say, let me say this. Okay, I so think these be the funniest episodes, though. Y'all that are tuned in, thank y'all so much. The show is growing. We're mm. doing great, but y'all make sure y'all subscribe. I feel like a lot of y'all just come and watch, and y'all don't subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, we trying to get them numbers up. Well, we at like 50k now. Oh, 50K god damn it! But that's what I'm saying. We have a lot of people that listen, but we have 50k subscribers. But our view be at like 100k mm. 70k 80k y'all need to subscribe even if y'all don't do like because it's some it be some people that tune in they be like oh that big titty bitch thumbs down they don't even be watching nah low key though the episodes do be having like five thumbs down when we, as soon as we 20 drop seconds, it i be like damn bitch you ain't even watch that, the whole like, first minute i be like what's up y'all thumbs down <laughs> <laughs> it's your girl let's no <laughs> So y'all just give us a chance. Yes, baby, they do not be fucking Go with easy. the world. Okay, let's get into these topics, girl. Right, Go ahead. To I'm gonna let you introduce the first one. <laughs> mm. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P. And it's your girl Dre and Nicole. And we back with better help. Y'all know we love us some better help now. We absolutely love better help. And we're always bragging about our counselors and our counseling sessions that we have. I feel like my life has changed so tremendously since I started going to therapy. And I wish I would have started sooner. Right. So if you don't know what BetterHelp is, it's a program that we use. It's online. Everything you can do from the comfort of your own home uh, to start therapy. Mm -hmm. You can do it via text, phone, or video chat. Yes. So no more waiting in the doctor's office anymore. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about it is financial aid is available. Yes. But we also have a code for y'all mm -hmm. to get a discount. So you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. It's not like a crisis line or like a 911 thing type of emergency. It's just yes. for if you're looking into getting to therapy, this is the perfect time for you to try it out. Mm -hmm. And they're available to you all the time. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is go to betterhelp.com backslash poor minds and use code poor minds to get 10% off of your first month. It's an interesting one. It's definitely an interesting one because I feel like this is every... Well, go ahead and introduce it. Okay, so the first topic is um, basically being an independent woman is overrated. You need to have a man. Mm. You need to have a man. Okay. Nothing is lit about being an independent woman who takes care of yourself 100%. Mm. And you don't have no help. Mm. You need to have a man in your life. Okay. Um, I'm going to let you go first. What's your thoughts on that? My thoughts is that's absolute and complete bullshit. Insanity. Insanity. Why do you think, but why do you feel like um, some people believe that? Because this was actually a tweet that I found on a Twitter from a woman, mm. composed by a woman. Yeah. So. I feel like that's where people fuck up in life. And that's where you get disappointed. When you put your needs, because she said you need a man. If you live in your life to need somebody rather than have, have them as a want or like something extra that brings extra joy to your life, that's where you fuck up. Because I'm not here to make you happy. And mm. nobody is here to make you happy. You have, you're in control of your own happiness. So if you're putting that pressure on someone else, that's when shit gets fucked up. Mm -hmm. Because... Especially women, we create this fantasy of romance and that we're just going to have this Prince Charming. But why do we have so to be a fantasy? Because, I mean, let's be real. Most men are not romantic. Like, I'm not saying that it's impossible, but 
when you have these expectations of people, you're going to get let down because nobody is perfect. Right. Let me tell y'all something. When I deal with these niggas and these men, it's because I want to deal with you. But at the end of the day, anything could happen. He could pass away. He could leave you. I could get tired of you, no matter what it is. But you need to be complete and whole by yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to know how to take care of yourself. You need to know how to function by yourself. So whenever somebody comes along, they're an addition. Saying you need anybody, whether you're, even if you're in a... Uh, so that's what you took from that statement? Yes. You don't need anybody. You don't need anybody. I more so felt like I'm trying to see how I want to word it. I most more so felt like she meant like um, being independent is overrated because so many women these days feel like um, it's okay to just be single. And it is okay to be it single. It is okay to be single. It is okay to be single, but I feel like the want and the want for marriage, the desire for marriage and companionship is not the same as it used to be mm. years ago. Right. So that's what I kind of took from it. Um, because in a sense, you do kind of need men for certain things. I like mean, if you try to, have to a baby. But that's all I was about to say. I mean, if you're trying to create a family, you do need a man. I mean I can't have a baby with you. If that's the case, we would have been there. No, we wouldn't have. Yeah, Bitch, that ain't was. my baby. I, I ain't paying you. Because the first thing you're going to do is like, legs, my child support. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> yes, friends. you would. We yes, friends. you we would. We friends first. Girl, I would never have. If we I was friends a nigga, first. I would never get you. Actually, let me not say that. Because you're fine. I might slip up. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it, friend. We friends first. But I no, I'll say like this. That. I will say this. I feel like. But she said need. Like, but every, that's what I'm saying. But so for certain things in certain situations, you do need men. Okay, but you do. what about the people who don't want to have kids? Okay. So what do we need a man for? I still feel like at it's some a point... Want. It is a want, but at some point you gonna in your life you need companionship. Yeah. Nobody wants to be nobody, alone. Nobody wants to be alone. <laughs> if you touch by the words in the song, see for real. Okay, no, but let me say this though. But that's different. You're not going to die Shout if you don't. Shout out to Herschel Raymond because he showed coming. He did. Herschel popped up on my ass. Shout out to Herschel. Herschel is did, real. Herschel did pop up on his. Carlos said, you gonna start believing me. Your mm -hmm. motherfucking ass needs to start listening. He One did, thing about Carlos, he, did he message don't lie. both of us and he said, I told y'all. I told y'all niggas. But what I'm saying is wanting companionship is different from needing. You're not gonna die without companionship. Some people do, do die of loneliness and heartbreak. Yeah, but that's because they be old anyway and they be having the sugars. Oh. They got Alzheimer's. They done been to war. They used to play a little sports. They got CTE. It be other remaining factors, bitch. Like, bro, speaking of, we gonna talk about that later. Right. But <laughs> like I said, I feel like um, being independent isn't overrated because I'm not gonna lie. Don't get me wrong. I want. I don't think it's overrated. But let me say but this. But I was trying to look at what she said from a different perspective. Well, I'll say this. I love companionship. I love having a nigga there. I don't like sleeping mm -hmm. alone. No. I hate sleeping alone, mm -hmm. actually. And I've been going through something lately where I'll be like talking to my friend Killer. Shout out to Killer. Every night I'll be like, bro, I'm tired of being by myself. Like, Big Papa was like, hey, I can't make it for your birthday, but where do you and your friends want to go? I'll send y'all somewhere. I said, you know what? I just sent him my birthday list of shit I want because I don't want to go nowhere with you bitches. I really don't. I just got back from a girl's <laughs> trip. Great time. Love you ladies. Beautiful gowns. Do I want to spend four or five days with y'all? No. I want to be on an island with a nigga. So, <laughs> with that being said, I get. I know that sounds crazy. It was the delivery for me. But I'm just being real. I really don't. Girl, fuck you. I don't want to spend time with I, you neither. I mean, I spend time with you. I spend enough time with you, bitch. We were we be on the phone for literally eight hours. Literally. But you'll be so capped, though. Because you just sat here and gave this whole speech. And the whole time you was in Mexico, you was calling me like, Drea. I, I did wish, miss you. Drea, I wish you were here. I do wish you were. I did wish you were there. But do I want to go on vacation with a, another group of girls again when I just got it back? It don't got to be a group. It could be like two people, two or three people. No. I'm cool. But like but like I said, this is going to the point that I'm making. Mm -hmm. I um I yearned for that 
companionship, that partner. But do I need that? Because I know what that comes with. I sleep very good at night. I sleep very fucking comfortably. (sighs) I unroll my titties, wrap my hair up, dust off my little coins, everything, and I sleep good in my bed. I sleep very good. And that's fine. You do sleep good, but you also still fairly young. You're also Not still fairly. <laughs> Hold on, bitch. Slow down now. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Cause you ain't no spring Don't chicken make it no your side b- beside yourself. <laughs> I know. But go ahead, go ahead though. though. <laughs> but no, for real. Like you still fairly young though, so I get why you feel that way. Cause I feel like that's the same way. Why? That's the same reason why I feel the way that I feel about it. But realistically speaking, the older you get, nobody want to be by themselves, and you're not as desirable no more. When you get old, <laughs> you're not. To who the, pi- the, the pickings is slim. They already. I'm not slim. gonna lie though, but I look at people like I mean, look at J Lo. She's still out here doing her thing, and that's fucking J Lo. And I'm fucking. I'm not saying it. I'm saying, okay, so for example, like with you, yes. By the time you 50, you probably will be like... Probably I will be. Okay, that's what I mean. You will be on like some J-Lo type shit, but that's not... For the average, that's not the average woman, so that's not fair to say that. Well, I'm I'm not speaking for other women. I'm speaking for me. But you're also lying because I'm speaking for you too because I know you and you fucking lying because bitch, you want a nigga. Cut it out. I don't want a nigga. I mean, yeah, I want. Cut it out. But like I said, that's what we're talking about. Do I want a nigga? Yes. But do I need a nigga? No. You gonna need one when you get old. No, I don't. I'm never going to need a man. Am I gonna want a man? You gonna need that dick. No, I mean, but it's not It's not hard to get deep. <laughs> see, see, y'all see how she didn't say no that time? <laughs> God damn it. That's why all I'm saying. You, you do need men for certain things. Okay, but, to, but that's different. You need a man for dick. Like, right, you need them to, to have fuck. sex, but that's nothing like, I can go fuck somebody right now, but that's not the person that I want to be but with. But you still need them for dick, bitch. None of your homegirls can give you no dick. Well, you ain't been on my homegirl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Cut. <laughs> I'm just saying. Cut. Uh, it's too early. Well, all I'm saying is this: there's a difference between wants and needs. What is your needs. problem? I'm just being real. You haven't. <laughs> so if, if if it if it got to be taken there, and times get that hard, shit can get done. But um, like I was saying. Anyways. All I'm saying is... You think that you need a man? No, that's not what I'm saying. I think that you need men for certain things. I do. I think it's certain things that you do need men for. I mean, I guess. But I'm not. I'm like, whatever. Like, you're not going to be at my house all the time. So, like, how you just killed that spider? I need a nigga to do that. I'm I'm not about to do it. You can call me. I'm going to let one call away. You ain't going to come. Yes, I am. You going to take an hour. But I'm going to be there. It don't matter when I get there. And by the end, if he's a brown recruit spider, I'll be poisoned. Uh, Uh, Hold on. (laughs) I'll be poisoned. Uh, You ain't, you know. Steve Irwin. You know the knowledge is extensive. (laughs) Uh, who? A brown recluse spider. I ain't never Look heard it of that up. in my life. You got some would motherfucking you like names to, on y'all. Would own. you like me to Google it? No, I don't. I believe. I didn't say you was lying, Steve. <laughs> I'm just saying I ain't never heard of that. Yes, but they poison me, so okay. you could die. Okay. So the but point that, that I was but making but is if it's one of them, I'm going to be dead by but, I, but I feel like this. I'm always going to be Look there for you. you. I'm it's always intense. Damn. But I feel like this. I'm always going to be there for you. I can put my trust in you. I no, know that right. I can depend on you. But you these can. niggas, I can't depend on these niggas, bro. I can't do it. Maybe I'm hurt. Maybe I'm bitter. Maybe I'm just negative and just all fucked up. But I just can't depend on. I've never been able to depend but on But what man. if you ain't found, what if you just ain't found a nigga you can depend on? What if it's not that he don't exist, you just ain't found him yet? Where he at? I don't know. He ain't here. Where they at, though? He haven't arrived where, yet. Where they but at? But he probably out there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't ever give up on love and give up on that that hope of that is out there. But like I'm saying, if I don't find that, 
I just don't want to get my hopes up that I am going to find it. So you feel like sense. she was solely saying you you need a man to survive for monetary reasons. No, for, hell no. I definitely don't need a man for that. I'm not saying that's what I said what she said. Oh. Is that not what I just said? My bad, my bad. Okay. Well, I felt like she just meant it in all ways. Like you need a man for monetary things. You need a man around the house. You need a man because you, you need You do to- need a man around the house. Why? For what? Why not? I mean, just, I'm asking, what do men do around the house? Everything. What? I mean, I grew up in a household where my daddy did everything in the house. I'm not trying he to be funny. To, he used to <laughs> do the oil changes. I can do that. He used to fix the plumbing. I can do that. <laughs> Maybe I got a wrench <laughs> in my trunk right now. He used to build all the furniture. That- like, not from scratch, but I'm saying, like, put it but together. But did I not put my whole apartment together, baby? I put that whole bed together. With my together. assistance. No, you weren't there. You put, help me put my couch together. But I did help. I just wanted to throw but that I'm saying, there. <laughs> but I'm saying, everything you name it is shit that I can do. Like, honestly. You, you change your, you a liar. I changed a tire before. Before, but you don't be changing tires. Because I got money now. I don't need to change Niggas my own tires. Niggas make life much fuck? easier because they going to do shit that I don't want to do. N- bitch, first I of I don't want to do that. It don't matter if I know how to change a tire. Come Why on. do I want to change Let's it? Let's keep it real, though. But the niggas that you be talking to, they don't do that. They self, they pay somebody to do it. And that's fine because they still paying it. I don't got to pay. I don't got to spend my money. But what I'm saying is he's not necessarily necessary. Is what I'm saying because he's paying somebody to do that. So if he's not around, you can do the same thing. That's he what I'm mean. calling. He'd be like, You good, Shawty? You straight? I can do that. <laughs> you haven't told me one thing that we need a man for besides a baby. You ain't said one thing yet. And no offense to the men out there. I love y'all. But what? I'm really over here trying to play devil's advocate because truly, I don't really feel like we need y'all niggas either. <laughs> but <laughs> besides for dig, that's why that's the only thing I can come up with. That's literally why I can't come up with nothing else. I mean, don't get that's me wrong. That's all I got. Ideally, like Carlos said the other week when he came on the show, like, that's why y'all be fucking with niggas. They don't know how to fix your car. They don't know how to do that. But I don't right. need you to fix my but car. But no, but honestly, it would be nice to have a man that you don't have to pay somebody to come do this and they can fix it themselves. But honestly, th- but those niggas... pay him some way. Them niggas are a dime a dozen. Somehow. I'd rather pay you in coochie than pay you in money. I, we done swiped this car a thousand times. But if you the type Great, of nigga... Good. But if you the type of nigga who gonna fix my car and then I gotta pay you in coochie... But you're not... I don't I'm wanna not, fuck no, you. No, I'm talking about you're my nigga. We're not um, talking about a nigga we just fucking. I'm talking about you're my nigga. Mm-hmm. I, if I'm gonna have a nigga around, I want a nigga around that can really do Cause shit. Cause you ain't about your bread. I want a nigga that can cook some ribs. Niggas can't cook ribs no more. Niggas be on uh so Buzz, that's- niggas be on BuzzFeed trying to figure out how to throw a Fourth of July party for you and your homegirls. Can you now y'all eating some dry, nasty ass ribs? Cause your nigga don't know how to barbecue. Can you cook ribs? Hell yeah, I can cook a mean rib. Look at that on. <laughs> you you think this can't cook a rib? I know he can't cook a rib. All right. Because you the type of person that you, you ain't know how to had- cook ribs, you would have cooked them by now. I really don't like ribs though. No. I can cook them. But I really don't fuck with ribs like that. <laughs> you just full of lies and deceit. I can cook some ribs. You ain't cook. Dre, you cook shit that you don't like, but that's because what everybody around likes before, right? Like, your nigga likes not something. Not really. I don't be if cooking nigga, shit that I don't like. But I'm saying, if your nigga likes something and that's necessarily not your favorite food, you cooked it because he liked it, right? Because that's why that nigga wanted you around for whatever. Because the pussy good, personality good, you can cook, you clean, like... I can understand why a man would want me in his house mm. because I'm going to take care of that household. Everything's going to be organized. Mm-hmm. Whatever you need, I'm taking care of it. A nigga come home, he ain't got to do shit. And I know y'all probably like, it's giving hay made. It's not giving hay made. It's just I'm taking care of the household because you you pulling the money in. It's a balance. Well, but it's niggas, not giving hay made. It's just giving you just ain't never fucked with a, like a... A nigga that takes care of everything. A nigga that takes care of everything, funny, you got to do those type of things. But niggas, besides giving giving babies and money, that's... I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really can't interject. I was trying to advocate for you niggas at first. <laughs> I was. But just I love because, y'all. Just because I'm pro black men. However, black men are more necessary though than any other man. We'll I say agree. That. I agree. But it's because we love. But I necessary got, to procreate. It is. 
With the we black gotta continue wings. to race on. Come on, Doctor Umar, don't Amen. play with him. Don't play with him. Yeah, I don't know. I'm okay, so going him. into this next, so let us know. Do y'all think that you need a man, or it's more of a want? But men answer us too. Like, do y'all feel like women are a necessity? They about to, they about to slander us. It's in the all coming. right. What's new? They They're gonna be like us. these bobblehead, no good. Pu- that pussy probably not even good. She done bought that ass and titties. The coochie probably fake too. Niggas was on my they, niggas be on our ass. For they no do reason. be on our ass for no reason, but then they be following us. So this will be funny. I mean, it's all right. We about to get ate up, but it's. I mean, I feel like that. What is the world without different opinions? Like right. you have to learn different things. And honestly, I feel this way now. I may not feel this way in two days. I just. I'm feel, the different. I'm a different woman. That's why I said every I, day I grow and I change. I tweeted that the other day. I said I hate when people be saying you contradicting yourself, bitch. I could change my mind whenever the fuck I want to. It's my mind. Exactly. I could change the hoe. And honestly, just like I changed my clothes. Mm. Okay. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P. And it's your girl Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we had to tell y'all again about HelloFresh. We love HelloFresh so much because it has made our lives so much easier, especially now with us being so busy. Mm. I absolutely hate going to the grocery store. There we all. So getting my groceries delivered to my door and getting my meals kind of already somewhat pre-prepped has just made my life completely easier. And if um, you can't cook, it's like foolproof. Yeah. Everything is pre so you can't pour you too can't much mess of anything. It up. You can't mess it up. You know what I'm saying? So I actually cooked something for you. You did. I made the, the chicken over the garlic parmesan spaghetti. The this spaghetti was hidden. I love a spaghetti. And I that, love a little getty. That chicken, that chicken was nice and juicy. It though. was. I did that. It was how you seasoned it with the HelloFresh <laughs> seasonings. That was pre-measured. Because, you know, I usually get a little heavy-handed. Get a little salty. But they got but my not this time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what y'all are going to do is you're going to go to HelloFresh.com slash PoorMinds14. That's HelloFresh.com slash PoorMinds14. And get up to 14 free meals, y'all. 14 free meals and free shipping. Y'all are going to love this. Like I said, if you're on the go, you can't really cook that great. Whatever your issue is, Mm -hmm. HelloFresh is what you need to be using. Okay? Yes. So, (laughs) the (laughs) next... What? I know. I know that's right. Um, The next thing I wanted to talk about is drinking etiquette. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we don't have it. (laughs) But I wanted to talk about this because we had a conversation with our friend and a friend of mine. And we were just talking about like how important it is to have fun, but also carry yourself in a certain way. Like, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'll be out with people and I'm not a judgy person at all. But it's like, if you don't know me, you don't know me from a can of motherfucking paint. Why are you getting that fucked up in front of me? Mm. I could still... From your purse. I could drop a molly in your drink. Give you to this nigga. And it sounds fucked up, but it is what it... I'm not saying I'll do that. But what I'm saying is, you don't know me. Why are you getting that fucked up in front of me? And the reason I say that is because we went out all this weekend. And it was just a lot of people getting fucked up in front of us. I'm talking about fucked up. And I'm not talking about, like, listeners. I'm talking about people, like, we just really did not know. And I'm like, how do y'all feel so comfortable getting drunk in front of strangers? That's dangerous as fuck. And the reason I wanted to talk about this... I don't recall no strangers getting drunk in front of me, though. I recall y'all getting drunk in front of me, my friends. But I only get drunk in front of, like like I said, my my homies was there. One of my... But you're still in public. But Okay, but I'm with you. But I'm saying, if it's an etiquette thing, no, you still in public. But what I mean is etiquette is because I knew I was going to be safe. You safe, but other people could still look at you and be like, damn, look at that that drunk ass hoe. But also, I don't carry myself like that, and I know my limits. I get drunk, but I don't get drunk to where I'm like not, I can't talk, I can't walk. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to do a little stumble. You know what I'm saying? I might do a little one-two step, you know what Mm. I'm saying? But I ain't going to fall. I'm not going to throw up in the section. I'm Weebles never... Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. See, hello? Amen. I have ne- I'm I'm going to say this right now. As of the last, like, five, six years, you ain't never seen me in public sloppy. When, when have you seen me in public sloppy? Bro, I don't feel like doing this because I Come would have on. to go through my archives and my videos, but it's definitely... Sloppy? Happy. 
it's definitely happened in the past six years. Sloppy? Bro, yes. Yes. You're a liar. <laughs> Bro, what am sloppy? I gonna lie for? Because I don't be sloppy. Sloppy Let's, is not in my vocabulary. First of all, the first year I met you, which has not even been six years ago, you tried to jump out of my car on the freeway. That was six years ago. <laughs> I said five or six. No, this was it was in 2015. And it's 2021, bitch. I said five or six. Okay, but I don't think so. It, it was, was more so. Five. Matter of fact, it was the it was right. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say this. <laughs> Slow down, bitch. I'm trying to. I'm a, I'm a different person than I was yesterday. But you ain't about but to call also, me a liar. But I was also smoking. I was smoking. No, you. Oh, yes, I was. You hit it once. You hit it once. And that's why I don't. I don't do drugs. Say no to drugs, kid. You did hit it once. But that's what I'm saying. You talking about something that happened six years ago? It was not six quite. It was five, five. or six. Like I said, five or six, but. I don't be sloppy, bro. You know me. You know me, bro. That I was in the club doing that little dance before it even came out the boom, 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 boom. I still hit that hole too. An innovator is what I am. You definitely was doing that in that video. But this is all I'm saying. I feel like when, you, when you're when you in the public, have a good time, but get tipsy. I think people take things too far. Mm -hmm. Like there's no reason somebody, you should be throwing up in a section. I agree. Somebody should be carrying you out the club. Like, don't get it twisted now. If I'm with my nigga, I'm getting fucked up because my nigga's there and he's looking out for me. But even still, but I, I'm not getting sloppy. Yeah, I'm not getting sloppy, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna I'm take it there. I feel like you should get lit with you with your nigga, but it should never. It still shouldn't be to the point of like him having to carry you out the club or you throwing up in the club. Because yes. that's almost kind of embarrassing for him too. It not is. almost. It is embarrassing. I'm not gonna say. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. The last time I was sloppy, I wasn't even with you. I was sloppy the first time I was with Big Papa and I almost threw up in the Lambo. Remember that story? From what I heard, you was sloppy the second time, too. All right. <laughs> here. Well, how much time we got left? Because you know what? It's too much tea. Let me... Well, how much, girl. He said... Mm. Uh, he said, bring it here sweaty because I love it when it's funky. He said, I seen her walking that, that morning. What she was doing there? Oh, because I was in a can meeting. Can I tell the story? Yeah, you can tell it. So, y'all, Big Papa came to town, right? What hotel was that? The uh, Mandarin? No. The Mandarin. It's, it used to be called the Mandarin. It's the Wastoria. No, oh, the Waldorf. The Waldorf. Yeah. So, every time Big Papa come into town, he stays at the Waldorf. And if y'all have ever been at the Waldorf, it's fucking Ooh, nice. You spilling tea? Because then when they see your ass there, they gonna know he I don't is. give a fuck. That's my man. I'm gonna stick beside him. <laughs> so, anyways, every time Big Papa come, he stay at the Waldorf. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. So, I'm at the Waldorf, y'all. And mind you, like, I, I usually stay with him, so I'll bring my clothes over there. But the night that I had stayed, I had ran out of clothes. So I was like, okay, let me go re up because we still got shit to do. So he was like, all right, I'm going to call you an Uber. Just go home and come back. Bitch, I'm walking out the fucking hotel in my clothes from last night. I'm talking, I'm walking in my heels, short ass dress, hair all over my head. I'm looking like Dre, a tennis poking out. Everything just Dang, a mess. You always be looking like me in that case. <laughs> Her, ni her nigga was like, "That's not my nigga." <laughs> it was somebody it's my else. old nigga. Her old nigga talking about, "Hey, hey, how you been? How you how, how you doing?" I said, "Oh lord, I was so fucking embarrassed." He said, "Shit, where's she coming from?" Because the only thing that was up there that early was hoes. Now he ain't lie, but fuck you. He knew the team. <laughs> He did. He said, well, what she was doing up there. You knew what I was doing up there, nigga. Nah. What was you doing up there? He said he was at a meeting. Mm. So was Which I. Which is believable. So was I. For him. I mean, I was at a meeting, too. The fuck? There's a meeting <laughs> in my bedroom. <laughs> and I wasn't late, bitch. He said, you know what they say, birds of a feather. Excuse me. And did he lie? He did. Shit. You ain't hit, where he done never seen me stumbling out of a hotel at four in the morning. It wasn't four in and the that's morning, what he bitch. Said too. It was 10 in the morning. He said, if I would have seen you, I said, well, you're not going to never see me because I'm too sleek with it. <laughs> okay, slick with it, but it's still being done. No, it's not. Okay. You are a liar. How is it being done? That's crazy. You lying. <laughs> you have been. You started lying this episode, so you are a liar now. I guess I rubbed off on you. 
Don't touch me, bitch. But yeah, if y'all see me stum stumbling out the water, off, mind your business. <laughs> That's the basic, the moral of the story. <laughs> moral of the story is, bitch, mind your business. Don't worry about me. But yes, drinking etiquette. Let's calm down in public. Know your limits. If you start feeling yourself getting sick or you start feeling yourself getting tipsy, stop at being tipsy. Yeah, I think especially if you're around people you don't know I'm not gonna lie when I'm at home or if like we go to Kiki house or we go to your house we get fucked up but we know because we're do. with each other and we're at home and but we're safe but out and about is a whole different story yeah, like yeah y'all not gonna catch a BDB if y'all out stumbling drunk looking crazy okay I be, I be trying to be on whatever level he on I be trying to gauge it depends how well I know him too like yeah. if I know you very fucking well you know how big mama get down how you get down? Like, <laughs> you want to see them arms jiggle, bitch. You know? Not these ones for the jiggleators. <laughs> this one is for the jiggleators. <laughs> but if I like, if I'm trying to be cute and we just now getting to know each other, I'm going to keep it calm. Blue Ivy. I'm going to keep it calm. I keep it calm most of the time, though, until I really get to know a nigga. All right. I do. This is a line. That's crap. All Bro, right. really? Yeah, that's cool. You keep Until it calm. Until I get to know somebody, I don't keep it calm. Okay. Give me an example of when I haven't kept it calm. My birthday, my 30th birthday in Jamaica. You didn't know none of them people and you was fucked up. Why would you lie like that? Drea! Who did I not know? I knew everybody. No, except for like, I knew, we, I knew two of them niggas. You, we knew skeeting mode. That was it. Exactly. I knew them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like 30 people on the trip. I ain't give a fuck about the rest of them people. I knew my, I knew them. This was my niggas. <laughs> what the fuck is up? We about to turn up. Hey, you I was what? there. I was comfortable. I was familiar with people there. So mm. I did not lie. Okay. Now all them other people, but at the end of the day, clearly it wasn't a problem. I'm okay. All right. I'm gonna let we you jumped in the pool, didn't everybody <laughs> else jump in? <laughs> <laughs> to me, you jumped in first. But I'm that that wasn't the last example, but I'm gonna let you make it, friend. You got to. I mean you can't come up with yes, a better. I, yes, I can. Your birthday in Miami. What I do. What I did. You want me to say it? Yeah, go ahead. Did you I know that I know what I did, but where did I do it? Okay, but you were still fucked up. But where was I? The, the Uber driver, she like this. <laughs> He's like, oh no. Oh no, mi amor, mi amor. We was in a stuff in the back of the Toyota Corolla, bitch. He talking about mi amor. <laughs> he was using that babble. I was using that. I couldn't really understand what he was saying because I ain't got the level three. But yet. do y'all hear? But, but we, this is what I be talking about. Let's be lying because where were we at this point? You were still fucked up. It doesn't matter. We were leaving the club. We went to Booby Trap. We were leaving Booby Trap. We were in the car on the way to the Airbnb. You were still drunk. And it does not matter who give a fuck about that man. I'm not fucking him. I said, were I don't. You? Cause he came quick. I said, that I was, Uber got there pretty fucking quick. I said I don't get drunk in front of niggas unless I know them, and I'm not lying. You didn't know that nigga, <laughs> bro. We was in his G Y home. Cut it out. You just said a Toyota Corolla, which no, I know you like. No, I'm talking about the nigga. Cause you don't want to be calling minivan. I sure do. I sure do. I'm talking about the nigga that brought us to movie track. We was in his G Y home. And I was not drunk. But in the section, we was drunk. And you did was like, I throw up? I'm in the club. Fuck <laughs> up. I got my people with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday. I was like, I got to stop drinking Kiki because I got to <laughs> make sure she... I'm in the club. Solo. Cutting up. <laughs> I was like, mm. I said, hold on, B. But did I throw up in the club? You though? did, but you were still okay, drunk. So stop. You still, <laughs> you still have not proved your point. <laughs> we're going in circles at this point because you have not proved no point. Point is, we you begin just wanted to tell my. We just both wanted to tell each other be. <laughs> point is, we be getting fucked up. <laughs> she be walking. I be walking out the wall door. <laughs> She be in the sections <laughs> rapping webby. We all throwing up in Ubers. This this topic wasn't about y'all. It was really therapy for us. Cause we need we really drinking. We needed to get that shit out. We needed to be. Cause I'm not gonna lie to y'all. We be struggling even up here. We drunk right. I'm drunk right now. <laughs> what was that Denzel Washington movie? What's our favorite meme? Flight. I'm Denzel. I'm drunk right now. I'm drunk right now. <laughs> We gonna, get it. Favorite. we gonna get it together though. We but love it. 
We're doing good. We only drink once a week. No, we really well, don't we, drink that We really much don't drink like that. Anymore. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. Or shall I say, como esta? Miyamo. Oh, that battle been working. Uh, Miyamo, Dre and Nicole. That's right. mm -hmm. So we are here to tell y'all about Babel. So it's basically, if you want to learn how to speak a different language, this is the course that you need. It's 15 minute lessons and they make it super simple, mm -hmm. but it's not like the stuff that you did in high school. I feel like they didn't teach us like real life conversations that you would right. be having. The things that you would need for everyday life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's exactly what what Babel does. Yes, like if you're, you know, being a tourist or you at a restaurant, you're trying to go to the movies, whatever you're trying to do, they're going to teach you real life situations and how yes. to have conversations in different languages. They got Spanish, Italian, mm -hmm. French. Nine! That's German. You ain't know. <laughs> I did it. What does that mean? No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to go to babbel.com and use code POORMINDS. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com and use code POORMINDS. And you're going to get three months for free with a three-month subscription. Yes. So you're going to get six months worth of Babbel for the price of three. Mm -hmm. Okay? So go to babbel.com and use code POORMINDS and get your bilingual on. And start babbling. Mm -hmm. So now we gon' get into the bed. The bed. Bow. The bed. Bow. Bow. A bow, 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 bow. So today for the bed topic, we wanted to talk about making love versus fucking. Mm -hmm. Cause it's a really big, it's a really big difference. It is. It's a huge difference. Like, because I feel like it's it's all about balance in the bedroom. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you, I'm a make. I love to make love. You know, I like to be in love. I'm a Leo to the core now. Making love is cool if I love you. Well, okay. But I like the bug. Well, let me tell you what kind of like really, really got me into this. So we talked about this a while back. Um, I don't know. If you, a lot of y'all been asking because y'all called it, but we really didn't want to put y'all on game. But we started taking these taste pills. So mm. <laughs> the taste pills, y'all. Listen, it's a pill that you take. And it actually like changes the way your secretion takes. They do taste. what they need to do. Yes. Men can take it and women can take it. Mm -hmm. Right. So you can either take it like an hour before you have sex. I like to personally take them every day. I do too. I like to take them daily. I feel like, it has I, a better feel like I get a better result with taking them daily. Um, but yeah, we we love the pills. Um, we've had great results from yes. them. I've gotten great reviews. <laughs> from the and that's what I'm saying though. Cause it's like, okay, so it changes the way you smell and the way you taste, y'all. Yes. So the thing about it is, it's like, I'm making love to my man and I'm like, my nigga, did I just get a, a frozen lemonade from Chick-fil-A? I love you. But even if you ain't making love and you just want him to fall in love, there you go. That's what I'm the saying. The secret potion. But I mean, that's what I started making love to niggas. I'm like, because, you know, the, because the it's like, it changes it. It has like a mango, strawberry, banana, cinnamon flavor. I'm like, my nigga, did you just come from the tropics <laughs> from Timbuktu? Who made you? Timbuktu. So that's why I'm going to make love. All right. So all you got to do is go to tastevitainc.com and use the code Poor Minds and you will get 15% off of your order. And it's vegan and it's um, non-GMO and cruelty free. Yeah, so. all that good shit. I'm a Leo to the core. No, I, you're not. Yes, I am. I can have sex with a man that I don't even know and we gonna make love. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm about to look into your eyes and be like, where you from? What's your name? Do you live with your mama still? <laughs> I make love to everybody. I make love to everyone. I don't like fucking. I prefer to make love. Man, I do. That's I where we a, differ. That's where we differ because I'm a love maker. There'll be some love making. That's me. I wrote that. Nah, I like fucking. See? But that's because I'm like a little hood, I think. I like the food. You like, I'm the type of person, like, if you come to my house. Fuck me. Yeah, like, I feel like if you come to my house, 
I'm going to set the mood. I'm going to pour the wine. I may turn on a little Anita Baker, a little Sade. Dre going to be like, you heard that new Jeezy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to turn G. For sure, I'm going to turn You heard Jeezy that new on. ESTG? And she going to pour up the hen dog. Like, nah, because I don't drink hen. Oh, the Casamigos. That's tree. better. No. What you gonna pour up? If a nigga come to your house, what is you pouring up? Some classe azul. Exactly. Ooh. That's a little more expensive. Yeah, it's, it's more expensive, right. but it's all the same shit, bitch. Y'all getting drunk. You supposed to set the mood. You nah, supposed to drink I be wine. drinking wine too. Champagne. I drink wine too. Strawberries with the ch- chocolate. You don't do all that. You a yes, fucking liar, bro. You definitely be fucking be niggas ha- off the Jose Cuervo. Be- <laughs> Damn, you gonna put me down the hall? Bro, we were supposed to keep that between us. You wouldn't even stay that on the show, bro. <laughs> that Paul, that, was, Ma- that Paul Mason. <laughs> Not the Paul Mason. <laughs> bitch, it be the peach now. Nah. <laughs> that peach snuck up on me. That was one time, bitch. This hoe do not be setting the mood. She's lying. I do set the mood. I set the mood now. <laughs> I'll be playing that snow. Al- I've been dying for your love, <laughs> your love. I set the mood. I pour that, and then y'all know we drink white wine and shit on the show. Yeah. I pour up that red. Get that little Merlot going. Okay. And I get the, I get the. Group. I don't believe you. I though. do, cause I'm, I do though, bro. I'm very romantic. But let me tell you, the videos you don't see me is not romantic. Hold on now. Those wants to tell him to come to get to get him there. <laughs> You gotta hype but it up a little bit. But once you get there, it's romantic. It's very giving romance. But I, okay. I say that I all the time. It. I feel like y'all get the the poor mind side of me. There's a whole another side to me when you're dating me. I'm very soft, honestly, when dating. I really you am. Are soft. I'm a soft like people. It's so funny because guys that I meet and they meet me first and get to know me first and then they watch the show. They be like, "What the fuck?" Because I'm very much giving lady. I mean, I think so too. It's very if people I, really knew us, it's very given Lady in the Trim. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you be the ratchet one. <laughs> it's giving very much. Bitch, I gotta wave the white flag, bitch. What no, the fuck? I'm kidding. No, I didn't Excuse mean like me. No, I meant like because you yeah, like the trim. No, because I mean like you like. When a nigga walk into my crib, it's going to be very much, I'm kissing him. I got my robe on. Nigga, come to your house. You isn't no butt naked with your titties swinging. Like, you ready? Because you be trying to act like you ain't know what he came for. I'm <laughs> exactly. already ready. Exactly. I'm ready, like, this why you came. I know. And that's what I'm saying. So that's why a, we need to do all this? Because I'm at least like, you know Because what? one thing about me, you going to take me out on some, you don't spend some bread right. already. I know that. So I'm absolutely naked at the door. Like, <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the difference between making I guess it's time now. It's making love and fucking. What's your favorite position? I like missionary, but I also like, you know, from the back. I think we talked about these before. Yeah, then. you definitely look like you like to be beat from the back. I see the way, even the way you tweet, bro. <laughs> but way too pretty to be fucked from the back. But that's the, why we uh, fuck from the front. But what I'm like, saying is, even the way you tweet, you what, tweet what do I different tweet? from me. Like, I really just be tweeting jokes. I'd be like, oh my God, knock, knock. Very much. Oh, guess what? This morning you'd be like, damn, I can't wait to get some dick tonight. I'm off that wine. Like, I'm gone. You would definitely Bro, I be tw- never say yes, that. Yes, you'd be like, I, I want to suck a nigga dick. Why would you lie you like re- that? You retweet shit like that all the time. A girl would be like, my pussy too good to be sleeping in my bed by myself. <laughs> and you'll be like, facts, facts, facts. <laughs> You do. Okay. You do not retweet stuff like that all I the time. I retweet a lot of things. My, you, somebody will say, my pussy is so wet, I fucking put out the 9-11 buildings. You'd be like, so was I. I was there. Bro, <laughs> one time I tweeted something, and I know what you talking about, and I made a joke of it, and hella people retweeted what? it. Which one? I can't even fucking remember, because I tweet so much stuff. Like, I just be saying shit, but I was literally playing. You're definitely a horny you, tweeter. You're a fucking liar. You're a horny tweeter. And I tweeter. hate it here, because you really are lying right now. Don't touch it's, me. It's giving horny. But Lexi, I know you're not talking. <laughs> I'm horny behind closed doors. <laughs> behind what doors? Because you horny on this show. <laughs> All I'm saying, I'm just telling That's them. That's you don't tweet it. I'm just telling them the difference between. Because I feel like cause you ain't really about that life, ho. I'm not. <laughs> and that's why. That's why I said it's the difference between making love and fucking. That's all I was saying. 
Nah, you was just lying. I'm, how was I lying? Because I don't be tweeting that stuff. You're a you liar. You do. You be like, I some... might retweet somebody, but I but don't. But I'm not re- gonna lie. But it do be it. facts. What do it be do facts? be facts? Like sometimes you'll just tweet pussy too good. Can I get mad? No, <laughs> it shows. The thing <laughs> you get that dress show up with a gift that I don't pussy too good, and the girls be agreeing. I'm like, y'all calm down. This ain't y'all lane. Well, not saying what? Why are you freaking them in? I'm just, no, I'm just saying. Uh, that's the difference between because when you fuck, you get the shit. You know what I'm saying? When you fuck your niggas good, maybe if I would learn to fuck, maybe no, nah, because my pussy trash. I don't say that. I feel like it's definitely not giving good. It's harder to make love to me than to fuck, though. It's easy to fuck. Yeah, that's that's all I was saying. It's easy to fuck. Like, it's harder to make love because you have to be, like, in tune. You have to be intimate. You See, have to be... I think I love everybody, so that that be my problem. Trying to figure out what they like, all this mm-hmm. type of shit. When you fucking, you fucking... When was the last time you made love? This week? The past weekend, or...? When? I don't know. I haven't had sex since January. Oh, you did? Oh, I, I mean, no, I was saying that because I don't know when the last time you had sex. Yeah, it was in January. You made love? Not in January. You you supposed to let that tear last drop fall. Last year. You supposed to let that tear drop fall. Last year. Did you cry? No. Probably because I wanted that shit to be over. Then that's not making love. <laughs> what the fuck? Because I loved him, but I didn't want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. So we're gonna get into the bop of the week. The bop, eh? Bow, 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 bow. But she feeling herself. <laughs> ah, bow, bow, bow. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P, and it's your girl Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we not talked about busy before, but we get tipsy off that busy, okay? Look busy too. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So they have dropped a new flavor. They have like the watermelon pack. So it got the uh, blueberry watermelon, kiwi watermelon, mm-hmm. passion fruit watermelon, and my favorite. What's your favorite? The mango watermelon, dog. Yeah, the mango watermelon is so good. I think that would have to be my favorite one mm-hmm. as well. Um, y'all know we love a little lit. To get lit, you know what I'm saying? A little <laughs> lit cur, lit cur. You know what I'm saying? Lit cur. And the best thing about it is it has the vitamin C. The antioxidants mm-hmm. in there. Um, it has one gram of pure cane sugar. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you getting all the things that you need right. while having a good time. Yes. So you're going to go to busyheartseltzer.com backslash poor minds. That's busyheartseltzer.com backslash poor minds. We're going to put the link in the bio for y'all. And y'all can find the watermelon flavors, the older flavors that they have. They have the lemonades, all that they good have a variety stuff. pack one and two. Mm-hmm. Now you must be 21 now. So, go get your drink on. Are we trying to be sneaky? Mm. Okay, so the bop of the week. My bop of the week is by Amaria. It's called Got Me Like. (sighs) I love discovering new artists that just get it. Mm. And they get what the girls want to hear, what the people want to hear. So, um, this song is basically about a girl kind of being head over heels. Like, you got me. And I feel like that sound is in right now. Mm -hmm. That, like, smooth. Mm -hmm. Like... Like how SZA sing, Monday and Tuesday and Friday. You know, that's how the girls sing. I want to love you. <laughs> that's how the, everybody sings now. Like, if you want to make a hit record, Bro, that's how- go to hell. What is wrong with you? Bro, that's how you got to sing. You really been cutting up the whole episode. All I'm saying is if you want to make a hit record, that's how you got to sing. <laughs> Squirt, girl, on the air cops. Like, I'll, like, that's how you got to sing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> why, you you move your, why you moving your chin like you do cocaine? That's because I'm saying that. Maybe that's what the girl. <laughs> that's maybe, how, maybe that's what the girls be on. But I feel like if you're in the studio, that is how cokeheads be and your chin don't move like this. You're not making a hit record. Ask Bobby Brown. Every little step I take. And what did I just say? We will be there. No disrespect to Bobby Brown, but what did I just say? But I, that, that's what I'm agreeing with you. I don't know if the girls are doing coke. What they're doing, but they're making good if fucking music. If they chin moving like that, they definitely on their code. Well, all I was saying, I'm not saying that anybody's on code. <laughs> Let me just say that. All I'm saying is that's what it. It sounds like when they're singing. It sound like like ear, ear, ear. That's how they sing. You know what I'm talking about? 
Or they be like, real like, Girl, I'm gonna love you till tomorrow. And they be like swaying and smoking weed. I'm gonna love you better. Yeah, no, they can't do that. And your friends will see. So anyways, you. bop of the week, Amaria got me like, it's very soothing. It's very smoke weed. Roll it up. Get you a glass of wine and chill. It's basically like um, her talking about how a nigga got her sprung. Mm. And like I said, I feel like if you heard it and you didn't listen to the lyrics, it would sound like she's saying things that are super deep, but it's relatable. Like we talked about last week. Like, I like to listen to relatable music. Mm -hmm. So, Amaria got me like, it's fire. I love it. I wasn't saying that she was on coke, but she definitely has that voice that's like Nah, soothing. we wasn't saying nobody was on no, coke. No, we wasn't. Disclaimer. We wasn't. We really wasn't. But, Amaria got me like, is a bop. Shout out to her. Amen. Go ahead. So my bop this week is gonna be on my mind by Snow Allegra, which is crazy because we were just that's and she about sings her. like that too. She gives the same. Uh, I was dying for your love, your love. On God, it's the crackhead chin. On God, nobody be in the studio yes, she do. moving their chin yes, like she that do. except for you. Yeah, and you her. don't even be in the studio. Yes, I do. So that's I what I was saying. I can get some women that never win. Nobody. She do. But you. Go and ahead. you don't be there. I do be in the studio. <laughs> I can't wait till I drop this EP on your ass. But go ahead. <laughs> Snow Allegra. On My Mind by Snow Allegra and James Fontoroy. I love him. He's mm -hmm. very good. He's very good. Very, very good. underrated. He's very I haven't, A plus. I haven't heard listen to her album yet because I heard one song from it and I wasn't too interested. Mm -hmm. But maybe I'll give it another listen and give it another try. Right. Yeah. It's a great song. I like that song a lot. So shout out to them. To Snow. Snow is giving what it needs to be. We give, love though. us some snow. Mm -hmm. So the next segment, y'all know it's Pour Your Heart Out, my favorite segment. Make sure if you want to get your question answered on the show, you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. If you're a Patreon member, make sure you put that in the subject so you can skip the line and, you know, go first. You got it? Mm -hmm. I was just trying to sing what song, see what song you were trying Actually, to sing because I, I got I'm a not, song. I might not sing this. What song you got? I mean, if you want to lead today, today, you're more than welcome. No, okay, never mind. I don't want to lead. <laughs> exactly. Mm -mm. It's on me, I say. Go ahead. Question one. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, niggas wanna talk shit, but they ain't ready to leave you the band. Talk shit. Ain't you nobody coming to see mouth. you, Otis. <laughs> ah, lady. Just cause you calling me out, I'm about to kill you. Mm. Question number one. Hey, ladies, I have a predicament and I need y'all advice. Predicament. <laughs> she said a predicament. No, you said predicament. I said predicament. <laughs> I didn't say predicament. You said predicky. I said dicky. Skidoo rickity. Skidoo rickity. <laughs> Go ahead, man. I meant predicament. <laughs> I have a predicament and I need y'all's advice. I have the opportunity to have a threesome with two men. Mm. To keep it real, this is a fantasy I've had for a while now. Fred I've always wanted. coming. Go ahead. <laughs> Ta here. <laughs> I'm ready for this shit to be over. Come on, we almost done. <laughs> I've always wanted two guys at once and the thought of it just turns me on. My guy friend pissed me off. Oh, put me on. Is it piss me off or put me I on? I think it's put me on okay. the way she's saying it. My guy friend put me on to his friend who wanted to fuck. Shortly after meeting his friend, I find out that he's trying to fuck too and as best friends, they down to hit it together. They both agree to get tested and these guys share these guys share no mutual friends with me since, since they're about eight years older than me and run with a different crew. I really wanted to go through with this since it's two guys I'm really into and the fantasy of mine. But is the stigma really as bad as it's made out to be am i degrading myself as a woman by going through with it i'm young and i just know i'm never going to be loyal unless i get my desires out of my system i feel like this if that's your fantasy and it's something you want to try who cares about the stigma like have fun like this is something that obviously y'all are going about it the right way y'all said that y'all are gonna get tested and you feel like they have no mutual friends this is if, as long as y'all are all grown and making the decision together, I'd say, why not? I'm not going to lie. 
I've never had sex with two guys at one time. Do I want to? Not necessarily. What a hell yeah. Yeah, I too have never done that. Um, but I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't see anything wrong with it either. My only objection is just that they friends. That they best friends. Because she said they best friends, right? She said put me on to his friend. That okay, but they friends. Yeah, but we... So that's my only objection. Yeah. Is that they're, they're friends. friends. Like, if it was just two, like, random niggas... But then, honestly, honestly... Not you, random, but you know what I mean? Right. Like, two niggas who didn't know each other and they was both cool with getting tested and they was both cool with having but a threesome. But the thing is, she said that's her friend, too. So I feel like there's more of a trust there. Well, then I also... I'm gonna keep it 100. I would not want to fuck my friend. I done fucked a few of my friends. So take it from me. It's not a good idea. I mean, yeah, coming from that point of view, but I feel like if it's just strictly sexual and this is a fantasy that it you was, wanted to live out... And it still wasn't a good idea. Well, I, I, want, I think she should do it. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to find two guys that want to fuck you that's understanding that it's not like that. Like, most niggas that be trying to... It's a threesome to me. But most niggas that they'll do a two-one with a girl, they want to say, oh, we ran train on that bitch. No, it was very much a threesome. I, I think you should live out your fantasy. Like, I think you should do it. If that's something that you want to do, do it. We both don't see anything wrong with that. And I like but, it because she said her guy friend put me on to his friend who wanted to fuck, and he wanted to fuck too. So it might be like they kind of want to fuck each other too. And they can be a little yeah. arms stirring around. It's gonna be some action going. Cause what what kind of okay, nigga you now know? We got some action. That's what I'm saying. Cause what kind of nigga that you know gonna be like, hey, my friend wanna fuck you, and I kinda wanna fuck you too. And but low key, they kinda wanna fuck each other, maybe. Excuse me, bitch. It's many niggas who will be like, Oh, my friend wanna fuck you and I wanna fuck you too. I mean, yeah, but I'm talking about he like put her on to it. A nigga, I'm 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 not gonna lie, I've never had a nigga try to put me on his partner and he wanted to fuck me. But I've that's never not really that putting happen. you on if they both trying to fuck. Well, I've never had this situation happen to me. That's what I'm saying. Neither have I, but I have heard of situations and have been in a situation where a nigga was like, yeah, I want to fuck with you. And he knew I fucked his friend. And I'm sure he would have been cool with me fucking both of them together. Because mm -hmm. why would you not? I mean, yeah, but like, I think this is a little different. It's giving me different vibes. Because it's, it's talking a lot of fantasy and a lot of... I feel like, I don't know, it's, it's a little something deeper going on here, but I think you should go ahead and go go do it. I don't know, sis. I just don't want it to backfire in your face in a few years. I mean, how can it? It's a threesome. People do things and you move I mean, on. yeah, but it's, I don't know. I just feel like even though it's fucked up as the woman, you're going to be the one that people is going to like be being judgy towards. They're not going to be being judgy towards them niggas because it's, it's more so going to seem like a... And we done had a conversation about these before too, trains versus threesome. Yeah, yeah. And Lex have her views on it and I have my views on it. But I think, you know... But at the end of the day, we've all done things in our past that we're not necessarily happy about. You can't live your life um, worried about what other people think about you. Ain't you gotta be being worried. No, no, but I'm saying, but I mean, like, that's what she just said. She was like, am I degrading myself? Um, is it bad as it's made out to be? Because she's worried about the stigma. Who cares about what the stigma is? Because fuck these people. Well, I don't care about the stigma either, but I just feel like it could be a better situation. Like, with that being that that's something that you really want to explore and you want to do, I feel like you could find two other niggas to fuck if that's something that you really want to do. It don't mm. have to be them specific two niggas. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I don't think it's a great... From what you've explained it as, it doesn't sound like the greatest situation to be in to me. And I would hate for it to backfire. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You. But she did say they were eight years older, so hopefully they're a little more mature, but... <sighs> Drea says don't do it. I say go do it. Because I just also feel like what older got to do? We both be fucking with niggas that's 10 years older than us and we be in some fucked up situations. <laughs> now, see... I'll just, be I'll just be honest. I'll just be honest. Okay, question two. I'm a huge fan of the show and a recent Patreon member. I'm 29 years old. And last week, an old friend from high school flew into my city to see me for a few days. I've always had a bit of an overbite and I've always been insecure about it, but it hasn't stopped me from giving amazing head and great feedback from my partners. Eventually, I got better about dealing with my insecurity, but this nigga was a total asshole and constantly throwing shady remarks about my physical appearance. I'm 5'8", 195 pounds, so people would consider me a bigger woman, and he definitely mentioned that. And my, might I add, that's my size. I'm 5'8", 195. 
Um, he told me that my head was the best, was at best mediocre, but he tried to make it a joke to maybe soften the blow. I've never been told that in all my years. He talked about how big my teeth are. And if any guy said that I was giving amazing head, they were probably lying and felt my big teeth. I felt shattered in that moment and it brought back all my insecurities. Now my confidence is all the way down from giving head to anyone. I feel like if I were give, if I were to give head again, I would be too in my own thoughts and definitely not perform well. Any suggestions on what I should do to gain my confidence, confidence again with giving head? Well, cut him off, first of all. Cause what the Cause fuck? that's giving weird behavior. That's giving weird. Like I can understand if a nigga tell you, "Oh, hey, babe, you're using your teeth too much. Make sure you move your teeth out the way." But my nigga, you flew out here to see me, got hair from me, and you're telling me how like unattractive you find me. Cause then you already knew what I looked like. You already knew what I looked like. It's not like I was catfish. And then we've been knowing each other since high school. So cut him off. I feel like a lot he of just... times that was weird, right? Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like dealing. Because we're the same size. I'm 5'8", 195. I feel like a lot of times men that deal with bigger women too. And um, they, if they feel like they're not up to par with their performance, they try to put you down in any type of way to mm -hmm. make you feel, okay, bitch, I don't feel like I did good. So let me make her feel like she didn't do good. So a lot of people like that are weird. But I feel like own yourself, girl. Like I'm pretty sure the head wasn't that bad. And you don't need to be, because obviously he came out there to see you. Obviously, y'all have fucked around before for him to fly out to see you, what I'm guessing. But, yeah, girl, I think you just need to cut him off. Yeah, I feel like it speaks volumes about somebody's character for them to, like, when y'all fall out or if y'all have a disagreement or whatever the case may be, for them to speak on your looks. Because I feel like... You fucking me? At the end of the day, yeah... I ain't never about to just talk down on a nigga that I used to fuck because it's like I used to fuck you. Not on your looks at least. Like maybe your character as a person. Right. And I, the type 100% of agree. And the type of nigga that you are. But you ain't never really about to hear me call no nigga that I used to fuck with ugly. That's weird because you was fucking like that. him. Because it's like I was fucking you so clearly I didn't think you was that ugly at the time. Mm -hmm. I just don't like that shit. I think it's weird. Mm -hmm. And I think it's more so too don't take it personal because obviously Bitch, he really ain't feel that way. Because if he thought you was ugly, he wouldn't have fucked you. He just being evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Next question. It's your turn. Okay. Hi, Lex and Drea. My best friend has been cheating on her man for years. She knows I don't lie, so she never asked me to cover, but she would come but she would come to my place, hang for a little bit, and then make a run and come back. I didn't ask where she went, but it was obvious. I already know what it's going. Anyway, her boyfriend proposed a few weeks ago. One of the dudes that was tricking on her for a long time found out, and now she wants to confront her man because she said she's cutting off all of her side dudes. She came to me with her plan, if he does it, and it involves me lying to her fiancé. Me and him have our own friendship independent of their relationship, and he knows I don't lie, so he will believe me. I just don't want to be in the middle of it. So I told her, don't put me in it. I don't mind confirming that she was at my house since that's the truth. But I'm not comfortable telling him that my whole ass friend has been faithful. Hasn't been. Oh. No, she's saying she don't feel comfortable telling him that her friend has been and faithful. she called her because, a whole ass friend. Let's, let's all right, like I'm about to, let me finish. Let me mm. finish. She had bad pussy management and shouldn't have been cheating with the childish ass nigga. I don't judge my friend for cheating because it ain't my business. But I don't want to put that bad karma out there and ruin my reputation if it comes out that I am lying for her. Am I wrong for sticking to my guns? Please let me go first. You like that nigga. Please. I don't even feel that way. I I just feel like you judgy as fuck. You judgy you as fuck. You saying that you not judgy, but you is judgy. Um, That's, sh but wait, wait, let me, before you finish, okay. the beginning said my best friend. Okay. This is your best friend. Yeah, you and her, your, her fiance have a relationship, but that's your best friend. Mind your business and tell, and do what she tells you to tell her man. Cause let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck how close I am to Drea's dudes. I met them through her. And this is my best friend. So if she wants, if she ate Taco Bell, and she wants that nigga to think she ate Chipotle, yes. And she got the Sofritas, bitch. Period. Like, we, what are you saying? 
I think that is very weird. And then she said, my whole ass friend. You sound like a hater and you're mad. I think you like this nigga. Because she's talking about my whole ass friend. Why she got to be a hoe? She was just weighing her options. Well, I don't think that. I don't think she like him. Uh, it sounds like it to me. Because why she going so hard for this because nigga? Because it doesn't seem, it just don't seem like that. This just seems like the classic, the classic case of pick me, of a pick me type of girl. Like, I just think that she... Is being judgy. Like, she feel like her friend being a hoe. And she can't but relate. But what does it matter? And she can't relate because she ain't ever had no hoe tendencies. And that's fine. It sounds boring. It do sound boring. But at the end of the day, I just feel like she not a hoe. And she feel like her friend is a hoe. Even though her friend ain't a hoe. Whether your friend a hoe or not, I don't even look at my friends like they hoes. I just look at them like they doing what the fuck they doing. And it ain't my business. Unless you're, being, can't, unless you're being reckless. I just am upset that like you called dangerous. her a whole ass friend. I'm very upset at that. And I think that if, and I also think that you being so worried about protecting your image as not being what? a liar, that's very weird that's too. That's very it's weird. Like, bitch, I don't give a fuck a nigga. I don't give a fuck if a, th if a nigga think I'm lying for licks, cause I am. I'm not gonna lie. We had a situation where I lied for Dre and it came out that I lied and I said, and, and I'm gonna stick beside him. <laughs> And I lie, and I do it again, and again, and I do it again. And I would lie for her, too. That's what I'm well, saying. I have. I mean, we both have been in situations like that where we lie for each other, and niggas That's what friends do, and it's your like, best friend. Like, be a best friend, girl. You tripping. It's the girl call it's for me. It's not calling her a hoe. That's not nice. But she called her a hoe because that's what she thinks she is. Mm -mm, so. I don't like that. I don't like these. I don't like that neither, friend. Well, friend, you, you not, gotta be a better friend. friend. Yeah, we we'll still call you friend. We'll but still we call don't you like friend, it. but you can't be my friend because I know you gonna judge me. Because if you knew what me and Garfield was doing, you gonna be writing into all the shows. Cause baby, baby couldn't. This is light work. What she was doing. Yeah, that was light. <laughs> Question four. Hey, y'all. I'm 26 years old and I'm a virgin. Every time I've gotten close to giving it up, the dude always fumbles the pussy. I'm dating someone new now and everything has been good so far. I haven't told him that I'm a virgin yet because in the past, every time I've told a guy that I'm a virgin, they either try their hardest to get it or ghost me. Should I just go with the flow or just let him know? I think that's something you definitely need to tell people. You don't think you should tell people you're a virgin? Why? Because well, if I don't I... know, because I haven't been a virgin for a while. Well, we know. <laughs> we know. So back when I was one, back... I did not feel like it was that deep. I mean, I, well, first of all, no, I lied. Y'all lost y'all Niggas didn't... knew, yeah, nick, that lost... nigga knew. Yeah. He knew. Well, no, we didn't. He, he wasn't one, but he knew oh, I was well, one. Well, see, the guy lost my virginity, too. We lost it together. We was yeah. making love. Nah, yeah, but he knew I was. He knew I was a virgin. Though we had that conversation. But I think at this age, that's something you need to share with someone. Why? Because a lot of times people don't want that pressure. And honestly, I'm not saying everybody does this, but if it's your first time having sex with someone, you're gonna have an emotional connection. So, is that what he wants? Does he want to have an emotional connection with you, or is he just trying to, you know, have a, like a situation ship? So I think conversations like this need to be had. But sometimes you never even know what type of connection you're really trying to have with somebody until y'all fuck and y'all be fucking with each other but and then it's a connection. She's a virgin, so that connection is going to happen regardless. It can be the worst dick. That's she can't compare lie. it to nothing. It can be bad. She can't compare it to nothing. I'm not going to lie to you. At this age, if I was dating a man and he didn't tell me he was a virgin, I'm going to be fucking pissed. I'm going to be mad as hell. Okay, I disagree, because even, like, with the first nigga I had six weeks, like, definitely felt some type of way, felt deceived because of the situation and what happened, you know, pro like, not prior, but what happened after we had sex. I definitely feel like he deceived me and he lied to me about some shit, but I really didn't care like that. I mean, but things are different now. This girl is 26. Bro, we and I feel school. like, and I feel like... Maybe I feel like being older comes with more emotional maturity, Hmm. A 15 year old in their maturity level and a 26 year old in their maturity level is different. Yeah, that's what when I'm saying. When it comes to sex, when, as when a, you're especially 15, as a woman. When you're 15, everybody's just kind of, everybody's starting to kind of lose their virginity. No, seriously. And you don't understand the depths of the seriousness of it. At 26, you feel like mm. I've waited this long. Mm. So at least, at the least, if I've waited this long to have sex, I at least want it to be special with somebody I care about. So that's something you need to share with them with. Hey, I've never done this before. The nigga thinking he about to get that Gawk Gawk 3000. 
He about to get some head 2.0. <laughs> Not even 2.0, just head. That's what I'm saying. So you got to let niggas know. Two. That's what I'm saying. You got to let people know. You got to... That's a conversation you definitely need to have. Like, for sure. Because I'm not going to lie. I don't want that pressure on me. Like she said, guys have ghosted her or tried hard to get it. You got to find that right person that's not going to do either and accept it and be like, when are you ready? You waited 26 years. I waited like three. It's a big fucking difference. So... You need to make sure you lose your virginity to the right, right person. You've waited this long? Who is the right person, though? Just like you said, I'm going to find the right person one day. You said that earlier. But I didn't experience. I didn't, you know. No, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> so. I feel like I done had a lot of experiences. So when I do find the right person, I'm going to know. Because I didn't. That's what I'm saying. You know, so she go, maybe she had might my know share, too. Even though it's only been three. All right. Uh, if you want your question answered on the show, make sure you email us at sporeminds at gmail dot com. So, uh, Miss Thang wants to wants to leave the song today. You ready? Hold on. Cause I'm a. You said you want to do it. If you're not ready, I got a song ready. What song you got? I, I want to see. It doesn't matter. Let me see the song. Girl, go ahead. We running out. Of, we running out. Let of me time. see the motherfucking song, no. girl. Go ahead, nah. I'm gonna go ahead and sing. <clears throat> Oh, 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 I didn't ask to go with you to Mexico. I really didn't need the shopping sprees in LA on Melrose. I don't even need this shit. Boy, if you didn't know it, oh, well, now you know. Oh, oh, I didn't I need the furs or the jewelry. Because material things, it don't be much to me. I don't want to sing never this. Since you been gone, I've been holding this down on my own. I know. I had to finish. This is a versus, bitch. You supposed to let them get the, the first verse out. So I'm going to interrupt you, too. This, you? this dip set versus the locks, bitch. What you trying to do? Are you done? No. I know you're watching all over here, trying to find a way to come into my situation. What but you should all know right. this, it's all good, so be cool. Tell your girl I don't care to fight. I got a lot of I didn't say that. Go ahead. So you should know better than to think that you could ever put it on. Man, go ahead. I can't hear it. Now see, now see how you don't be ready? If he needs good okay. love, then I got it. Ooh. If he needs to heat it up, I swear I, I didn't know fire. what she was thinking to Make just sure now. Make sure I'm the best for him, for sure he's running home to me for it. And Why he knows whatever he wants. You said singing I'm in the wrong key. How? And he knows whatever he wants, so I'm on it. And he knows a good place to get it. Baby, Tony That's do not. That's how you're supposed to sing. Baby, Tony do you're not sound like You're supposed to sing it with passion. Tony do not I sound I swear, like I didn't it. know what you were singing. Yeah, you did. And it's my turn now. It's it my ain't turn. your we're turn going back because and we're forth. two different people. We're going back and forth. This is a versus. Oh, you doing Monica yes. again? No, I'm doing this another very song. Childish. It's all because of you. <laughs> I'm never sad and blue. You brighten up my day in your own special way. Whenever you're around, I'm never feeling down. Because you are my trusted friend. With you, I can depend. Period. I'm about to go again. Okay, let's go. Baby, I got time. I got time. I just ate you up. You wanna do me? No, you really I did ate not. You up. But you didn't. And that's the sad part. Okay, we're gonna do one more that's song. That's the sad each. motherfucking part. I ate I'm you up. I'm trying to find a Mary J. Blige song that I'ma sing because you really got me fucked up. I ate it up. I don't like that. I ate it up. I'm finding a song. Okay. Because I can go again. That's I'm right. ready right now. And you can go to hell. <clears throat> it's funny how the tables turn. Now it's you running back to me. That's Monica again. I didn't want to spend quality time. I didn't think I would ever leave. You got a way too comfortable. Period. You got way too comfortable. <laughs> I've been singing on this bitch. Making you comfortable. Thinking you could come from my spot. <laughs> no. You got to a way too I'm... comfortable. <laughs> Relax. Relax. 
Okay. Let's get it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> You think you about to eat me up? Go ahead. I swear to God. Come on, everybody. Get on up. <laughs> I can't even finish the fucking shit because you keep making me laugh. Go ahead, bro. No, because I hate you, bro. Oh, okay, Because when I'm you sorry. be singing, I, know, I don't be doing right. the most. I'll right. let you sound terrible. So that... <laughs> Go ahead. So the fact that you will not let me finish I'm sorry. is mad disrespectful. Okay, you're right. Go ahead. And I'm done. You're not gonna say no me? because I'm done because you're disrespectful. Friend, I'm sorry. Don't touch me. It's been a great <laughs> episode. Oh, it's only gonna be about a matter of time. Again, terrible. <laughs> so I was trying to help like, you. I don't need your help. I don't need your assistance. Okay, go. I'm not gonna be. No, ma'am. It's been a great episode. <laughs> We gonna wrap this shit up because she disrespectful and I'm doing with her for today. I still won. I still won though. Girl, you ain't win nothing. We know. Okay. We'll but a big old ill. Cause we'll I'm cause I got cause I got her ass next week and I'm gonna put my game <laughs> face on. That's what I'm saying. All you gotta do is be ready. No, it ain't about being ready because you don't let me finish. I didn't say nothing. You be doing all this okay, extra a- shit and I got you. I'm going to stick beside it. Till next time, I got you. We'll see y'all next week <laughs> for the battle. Don't miss the <laughs> verses next week. No, and we end. Not only is it going to be the song verses, but I'm about to eat you up on the instrument, too. Oh! <laughs> it's going to be a major verses next week. We water. need to do it. We need to take a, a little screenshot. It's going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> We'll see y'all next week. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> not, not the verses. <laughs> I can't help it. It'd be so funny when you belt out that no. It'd be the same. No, it don't matter what you sing. It'd be that the same ain't true because the girl said I ate you up last week. 